Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Sarah Marguerite. Woohoo! And I am actually recording on my phone today because I can't record on my camera because I lost my adapter piece in Atlanta and I have yet to buy a new one. So yeah. <laughs> but today's video is one that has been on my heart for the past week or so. Um, I don't really like to do these kinds of videos because um, my own like self doubt, which I am um, working on. And this is an opportunity for me to actually work on my self doubt because I am going to put myself out there. And yeah, um, because I just like sometimes feel like people don't really care what I have to say when it comes to the things of God but I'm going to just um I'm just going to say what has been on my heart um and I hope that you can take something away from it you know yeah so I have my little notebook um this is where I write down um things that I kind of hear God say during my time in prayer, time in worship with him, or if I go to church and like uh, my pastor is like like speaking, or if my mom is like um preaching or, or just like whenever, I will um take some notes in here. So yeah, I actually kind of just wrote something down in regards to a passage Sorry. Um, in, in regards to a passage that I have been meditating on, um, it's a very popular scripture. It's on every single um graduation camp, you know. Like it's a very um graduation y type of verse. You have probably heard it before. Nine times out of ten, you have heard it, you have seen it, but have you applied it to your own life is the real question of the day because i know personally that that's something that i like had to do so i'm going to share it with y'all so um turn your bibles to say so no um i am going to be um reading jeremiah 29 11. um so i actually like the and I V version, some people are like, no, um, King James version is the only way. And that's hey, if that is um what you feel, then that is then then that is um what you feel. But I prefer um the NIV, the NLT, and sometimes when like I'm in that mood, the message version is also good. So I am going to read um two different versions um the niv and the message version and i wrote them down because i have to use my phone to record <sighs> but yeah so it reads for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future so that was the niv version and here is the message version so it says i know what i'm doing i have it all planned out plans to take care of you not abandon you plans to give you the future that you hope for <laughs> oh and i could just um excuse me motorcycle i'm trying to i'm trying to get my god some praise right now okay but i just i just love the message one because it just like it just like just like just calms like all of my like anxiety and things like that because it simply says i know what i am doing i have it all planned out like so this verse has been on my heart because um, I don't know. I just think my like um generation and stuff, we are we are social media 
addicts and stuff and um social media like is like an awesome thing because it um connects us like um together um but all across the entire world so i think that that is just like awesome but it could also be a crazy hindrance like to our self-esteem to our self-worth to just everything like our self-growth um i think that we tend to like um look at what other people are doing what they have and like opportunities that are um given to others and we tend to just wish like okay so when is that going to happen to me so like you're just like on your phone like this and then you see a picture and it is a person and they are just taking the ultimate vacation that like you wanted to just take you know like i know um personally but i wanted to go to essence fest but like i have like a <laughs> like a full-time job and like it's hard for me to um take off of work because of like my um situation my job doesn't like it is like under staffed so like the process of um calling out and stuff uh, it's just like a lot and then like um and then um like um financially but i am trying to like save for um certain things so but i couldn't go to essence fest you know i just didn't have like the resources that i needed like in order to actually get to essence fest <clears throat> but i went on instagram and saw people like <laughs> like um that i know and stuff or like people that i didn't even know were like artists and stuff and they're all at like, essence fest and like you know i'm just like you know I'm, like i wish that i could just um do more things like that like and then i just and um, then i have an other friend um and she actually like she actually moved to a different state and she has an apartment with her best friend and that's something that like me and my best friend were like um recently talking about like like oh we need to get out of Pennsylvania and like we and like we need to like have an apartment together and just like have that like awesome experience and things like that and yeah so it's just like man and then like people are um getting jobs um left and right and like I have a job like I, I'm I'm like very thankful for uh, my job but I'm but but it would be nice to have a, a promotion I <laughs> I'll tell you that <laughs> like to um get some more like income and things like that so. It's, so it's just like always like a sense of like man like everybody else seems like to have like the things that I am trying to like achieve or like to work towards or to get and why haven't I gotten them yet and it's like god did you forget about me you know like <sighs> but I don't know like if <laughs> like there is anybody out there that kind of feels like that but I know personally like I go through like some <laughs> like I go through like that sometimes where I'm like god like how come it's not in your will for me to do this to have this already or to like like um, be at essence fest or to be married with kids you know like like I'm just like I'm just like talking like I don't want that right now but I do want that but I don't want that right right now <laughs> but um yeah it's like you see people and they just seem so happy and like and like the opportunities are just coming left and right for them and it's like what about me and i feel like this like like um this verse jeremiah 29 verse 11 um some people like tend to like oh like he knows the plan for your life oh give him a praise oh it's a plan oh god to help you prosper and blah blah, blah. and then you just go into a shout oh thank you jesus oh you know the plan for my life thank you lord but it's like 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 if you actually just um think about it and like you actually <laughs> just like sit down and meditate like on this verse i think that it is just awesome because because it is true like he has it all planned out and each person's plan that is from god is designed differently and like everybody's path is different and he knows the plan that he has for you 
specifically and um and um the plan that is for you is not the same as as um the person next to you we have to understand that that um god's plan for us is like what he has for us like it's like um that song what god has for me it is for me what he has for us is for us and it is going to come to pass and you and we just have to be encouraged that that like that like it is going to work and that he does have it like all together and it is plans to take care of us and to um give us hope and and the future that we are hoping for now it's not always going to be like um down to the t like everything that we like um desire because like some things that like we want like are not in god's perfect will for us so yeah you won't get everything down to the t but he will um give us the um desires of our heart and we just like have to be patient it is a song by by um travis green and it is featuring chandler moore and it's called while i'm waiting and that song is just like decent because it just simply says like um while i'm waiting i'm getting stronger my faith is rising and i will run on while i'm waiting i'm lifting up as wings as eagles and i believe and i will trust in you and talking about the actual verse that is in isaiah don't ask me um what chapter but i know that it is in isaiah and if it's not in isaiah then i'll be pretty salty but yeah you just like you just have to wait it out and you have to like put in the work like in order to achieve those like things that um you want and just like you have to be encouraged that what he has for you is what he has for you just like what he has for me is what he has for me and i can't like um go on social media like or anything like that and just be um like coveting off of um what somebody else has and wishing that like it was me that had um what they have or like whatever like because like what they have is for them and what is supposed to be for me is going to be for me and what's supposed to be for you is supposed to be for you so like everybody's plan is different so i just like wanted to encourage like at least one person um just be encouraged that it is all going to work out and you are going to have the things that like that um you are like searching for and stuff but but everything that you need is in god so i just hope that like if you don't know him that like you can get to know him and if like you already know him that 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 there can be like a fresh like understanding that like he has it all he has it all together he has it all planned out jeremiah 29 11 for i know the plans that i have for you for you for you for you specifically for you so yeah um if we can i mean like like we had we we have to end with prayer right we just we just had to end with prayer so i am gonna pray so let's just get right into it if all oh, hearts and minds are clear it's like no <laughs> i'll be having too much fun but anyway all right um father god i just i just want to thank you for all that you are for all that you are you are the ultimate father you are a promise keeper you are just the best and you are amen so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i'm sweating my face is sweating i'm sweating it's hot under this big old light okay but yeah i love you guys and i will see you in the next video please don't forget hold up before you exit out, before you go to the next video, okay? I, I'm gonna need for you to like, to comment, to share, and to subscribe to my channel, okay? We are in the um, the um, 200 range. I'm gonna need for that to go to 500, okay? And I know that, that that is asking for a lot. 
for a whole lot. But by the end of this year, I am going to need 500 subscribers, okay? So I need you to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell the auntie and the cousins and, and the uh, deacon at your church and your pastor and your babysitter and but whoever, tell them to subscribe to this channel. It is important. It is important. It is necessary. And I will be very happy if we get to 500, okay? Because, oh, okay. I need it. 500, okay? <laughs> but I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully on my camera and not my phone. Because, mm. Lord, help me to get that adapter piece because I was just in Walmart and I could have gotten it. <sighs> you see, Lord, work on my mind, okay? Bring stuff back to my remembrance when it is necessary. Lord, help, okay? <laughs> but, but I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.